Hi YouTubers, welcome to part number 19 of the electric motorhome. Alright, now it is January and what we're going to do is tighten in the alternator to the floor and also the electric motor. So that's going to be a good project. Let's get to it. Now we've just loaded in the DC motor with this shock crane here. So I've got the DC motor loaded under a little crawling dolly and that will send it down this direction towards the back of the motorhome. So that's the final destination. We got the alternator and the electric motor side by side. They're not lined up yet. But as you can see, <coughs> the pulley belt will go from there to there. They will spin round as per the diagram. Now, the only thing I've got to do now is to get, <laughs> to get this little joy connector connected to that and on. It's going to get connected to the inside of the pulley there, then on through the wall. And I've just drilled some holes through the floor and attached these rubber mount things and they're screwed onto there through the holes in the this base plate of the alternator so so these rubber mounts they've got um, stood going out here to attach to and then it goes through the floor and under the floor as well it's just metal obviously it's not very thick so what I'm going to do is I've made these guys I'm going to put these under the floor and mount them under the studs so we'll get a good nice solid attachment. On the back here I took this bracket and stuck some rubber feet on it and this will stop the alternator going backwards and forwards I hope. Just trying to cut down on the vibration because this thing will be vibrating a bit and hopefully it won't be vibrating a lot and then the next question or challenge is to get this DC motor mounted on some nice rubber mounts too even though these brackets will be on the underside of the motor home I'm going to give them a, a spray coat of quick colour just to protect them from corrosion which they'll probably get alright so Here's the strap here, and the three bolts, one, two, three, come down on one side, and then further along they come down here. And what I've got here is a nut and a spring washer on each of these to make sure that these things don't unscrew themselves while driving down the road. And now that the alternator is mounted to the floor, what remains is to attach this electric motor to the floor somehow. Now I had made this these a pair of these brackets earlier on, and one will work that side, but it's not it's too big for this side, so I'll have to come up with some other idea. Keep you posted. Okay, all of these brackets here, see all of those, there's four of them all together. Now what they do is they fit underneath the floor of the motorhome and these attach to the bolts that go through the floor that are holding on the electric motor. So this is just an extra torque. <laughs> preventing the motor from moving once you get some torque action into it. So I'm going to get these drilled out the right size. I'm going to round out, round out the corners here, file them nice, do the edges good, and then paint them and put them in. The painting will stop rust. Out. And then once the holes are drilled, I took them over to the grinding machine, grind off all the rough edges and corners so I'll have a relatively um, smooth piece of metal. So now it's dressed up a little bit, I've sprayed some black paint on it because this is going to go on the underside of the vehicle so it's going to be exposed to the weather. 
and here on the front of the electric motor I've put a couple of brackets there nut and bolted together and a rubber foot under the bracket actually there's two two rubber feet and the same on that side and coming back here we've got rubber feet under there too and this has rubber feet on top too extra fancy all right so this is the reinforcement brackets i'm putting under the electric motor here just getting this guy tight nice and tight with a, a spring washer so these guys on good and tight yep yep pulling up and as you can see the springs are kind of uh horizontal we're not getting an awful lot of spring here so i might end up having to put another leaf in there to determine the length of the fan belt that i need i took a piece of rope and wrapped it round and i think the length of this rope should determine how long the fan belt is see just wrap it around that part of the pulley then wrap it around that part of the pulley and then as you see there are three pulleys on each one so I'll do the same thing and I'll get three belts and that should give us enough strength to turn this alternator. Well thanks for watching and um, we'll see you in the next episode, part 19B, because there's too much footage to put in this episode. So see you next time, bye bye.